Hello there. Well, I was looking for a new heavy duty mount that can maybe withstand a little bit of the breeze that my AVX mount seems to have trouble with. And so I went with the latest Celestron mount on the market, the CGX, and it has arrived today. And it's come in two boxes. I assume that long one are the tripod legs and the square one is the mount head. So time to start unpacking and put this thing together. All right, I have unpacked everything and here is the the tripod. And I extended one of the legs because you can see they now have notches on the legs to make it easier when you're extending the legs to know exactly where you want to put each leg. So that's kind of a nice touch. And here is the mount head. And that thing was a pain to get out of the box. And these are all the parts that came with it. It came with uh, the counterweight bar, the handset, the tray. Uh, I think this is to hold the handset in place on the leg. Uh, two counterweights. Uh, looks like a DC power adapter. Three screws probably to fasten the head to the mount and two knobs. These are probably the azimuth knobs. So I am already ready to put this thing together and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, then I'm actually following the instructions here and the first part was just to put the mount tray and use the thumb screw underneath to just tighten that up. And the nice thing about this is unlike previous mounts this center bar here doesn't screw up into the head so that's kind of weird when you're trying to get a good polar alignment when you had to retighten that after you've done polar alignment so that's no longer an issue so it's just put the, the tray on and the next step now according to the instructions is to put the uh top of the mount the mount head onto the tripod so we'll be back okay the next part was attaching the head of the mount to the tripod and that was uh, very easy and all I had to do was set it onto the tripod and use those three bolts I showed you earlier one there and others on either side and the manual suggests lining up the, the mount where the mounting bar or the, the, the counterweight bar will go with the tripod leg so I got it lined up for that and that is it the, the the head is attached firmly and this is kind of a sneaky part that the tool they give you to uh to tighten it with is actually hidden right underneath the handle i knew this in advance so when i'm done with it you can just store it right under the handle for later use kind of a cool feature so you only need one tool and you'll find it underneath the handle of the head all right the next is i'm going to put on the mounting bar and uh maybe i'll attach my my SET to it and see how that goes. Oh, one more thing. This is kind of a neat feature is that the base here of the head uh, can fit more than one kind of mounting bar. So uh, I have a just a, a narrow mounting bar, so it should fit right under there. But if you had a, a wider mounting bar, it would fit that too. So you got two different sizes supported here. All right, I'll be back. Here's something interesting is that the manual, when you're putting this together, the manual seems to skip over the fact that you need to attach the azimuth knobs to either both sides of the telescope here and one here. And that they actually don't even do anything until you loosen these bolts here, one on this side and one on that side. Now, I'm hoping that um, I don't have to re-tighten them when I'm adjusting for polar alignment. Um, it seems pretty sturdy because if I have to re-tighten these too much, I'm worried it's going to affect my polar alignment. And after I said polar alignment, it's going to shift the, the telescope a little bit out. So I, I'm going to leave it a little bit loose. It's not so loose where I can even move it with my finger. But um, if you get one of these mounts, just keep in mind you have to loosen these bolts here. And, and I didn't see that uh, in the, uh, the manual. It might be in there later, but not during the setup part. So... Don't forget to attach your azimuth knobs in the initial setup. Okay. Hello there. I am finished. And that was surprisingly easy to actually put together. Not too many screws. And the handset actually goes into 
according to the manual, one of the auxiliary ports, there's two auxiliary ports. I don't know if you can see them. And over here, we've got a PC connection and an auto guide port there. Those, those two auxiliary ports and the PC connection and the auto guide port, those seem to be the only connections on here. Uh, now, this was the part I was hesitant about because they put a handle over where the, the polar scope or auto guide, or I mean the, the pole master would normally go. But I got around that solution, as I mentioned in my other video, by just buying a clamp to put my pole master on. And that should work. It will still rotate with the RA axis. So that is it. I can't wait to try this. I can't power it up because uh, I ordered an AC adapter. I don't have a battery powerful enough to, to run this. Uh, my AVX was running on smaller batteries, but this uh, CGX mount uses a little bit more amps. Uh, balancing was a little different. It doesn't have the stiction that I notice on my AVX mount, so I think I can get a better balance with this mount. Just letting you see the whole thing here. I'm trying to use my GoPro. I got a gimbal for it. It works like a steady cam. So let's go out a little bit. I'm kind of cramped in the basement here, so I can't move back too much. And that is it. Got my new mount. Can't wait to try it out. I'm going to keep my AVX, so that thing still works pretty good. You never know when I might need it again. It's, it's much more portable than this beast. The tripod legs are close to 20 pounds on this. And I believe the head of the mount is about another 45 pounds.